Even as rain threatened to dampen this Friday, the 48th annual Aikens Macon is well underway as we speak. Your first alert meteorologist Emily Acton live at five in downtown Aiken. Emily, if the rain can stay away, it's much better than last year. Feels great out there. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh yeah, definitely so, Meredith. We were out here last year and it was a totally different story. Everybody was very hot. We were still having a good time, but very different story here. Now it's pretty overcast. Maybe there's a few sprinkles here or there, but overall it feels great. Really hasn't slowed down the crowd. We've talked to many vendors here and they said that there's been a lot of people coming and a lot of people buying what they have to sell because there's a lot of really cool stuff here. We've seen different woodwork, arts and crafts that are going on. Kids can get face painting. The food's great. Tried out some ice cream a little bit earlier today. Definitely recommend that. But there's a lot of different things to try here and there's still people out and walking around even though it did kind of end uh, around an approximate time of 5 p.m. But there's still people out and there's still people working their booths and having people come in. But this starts back up tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. and it'll last until 5 p.m. But again, a lot of fun, a lot of puppy dogs, a lot of families out here. So it's been a really good time. And again, the weather has made it feel great outdoors for this uh, 48th annual Aikens Make It. And the best part, it is free. Thanks for that update, Emily. Today, Aikens Macon will wrap up at six o'clock, so really not too much time left, but it is also first Friday, so downtown Aiken will still be a great place to stop by tonight. Tomorrow, as Emily mentioned, the festival starts back up at 9 a.m. and it runs through five o'clock. For your GPS, you can enter in 406 Park Avenue Southeast. That'll take you to the start of the festival, which runs for more than three blocks.